My name is uh, Dr. Roland Carroll. I'm an Associate Professor in the Biological Sciences Department, and I'm also the Associate Director of IGI. Um, I've been at Ohio University for coming up to nine years. I'm in my ninth year right now. Um, and so I've been a member of ITDI for all of that period of time. How do you summarize nine years in a couple of sentences? Um, it's been all in all a fantastic journey. Um, like any faculty member, you know, it was full of enthusiasm and excitement. A uh, little green when I started, you know, and you, you, you learn how to work with students, undergraduates, graduate students, find funding, lab up running, you know, start generating data, start publishing papers. And so, you know, there's, there's this incredibly sharp learning curve as you go. Um, but I've been very fortunate. I mean, I've had some fantastic people that have worked with me, students, uh, undergraduates, graduate students, postdocs, technicians, um, who have done a pretty good job of making me look good. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's been it's been a, a wonderful experience. I mean, I still feel like I'm learning even nine years into the process, um, and it's been nice to be surrounded by such helpful colleagues and other faculty. And, and I think that the the bacterial pathogenesis initiative within ITDI has been a really really critical part of that. You know, having that 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 group of other researchers who we don't necessarily work on the same thing as you, but in a closely related field. You know, it's 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 so valuable to have their input and, and collaborations, and I've, and I've collaborated with both of them. And we have a new member now in Dr. Wang as well, who just started this year, and so we're starting to build on that. So it's been it's been one of the the best parts about the whole process for me has been the collaborations and the assistance of all of those other members, you know, within the within IGDI. So the work that we're performing in my lab is primarily focused on the bacteria Staphylococcus aureus. Um, which is very important human pathogen, causes a, a large number of infectious and diseases every year. So we're interested in how the bacteria causes disease. You know, we know that for 70, 80 years, antibiotics have been a wonderful resource, a wonderful way to treat bacterial infections. But there's this, you know, concerning rise of antibiotic resistant bacteria. And there's this idea, this thought that, you know, perhaps antibiotics won't be effective forever. And we need to understand more about how bacteria cause disease, cause infection, so that we could start to come up with new ways to design new therapeutics to treat those infections. So in my lab, we focus on Staph aureus. We look at molecular pathogenesis, how the bacteria causes infection at a molecular level. One of the biggest findings that we've had over the last five or six years is we, we identified a, a, a regulatory RNA that was previously unstudied and had only you know, barely been identified. And we identified that it's now a, a, a quite a major player when it comes to activating expression of toxins and virulence genes in Staph aureus. Um, and so it's something that has, it's a project that's really gained momentum as, as the more we've studied it, you know, come to find out the more it does. So that, that project has really gained a lot of ground over the last five years or so. So, I mean, obviously part of this job is grant writing, okay? Identifying projects in the lab that you think have potential for future development. One project in particular that we're particularly excited about, uh, we're part of a collaborative research project that will be sending samples to the International Space Station. So we're actually going to grow MRSA in the space station uh, and do some experiments that allow us to see how bacteria, how pathogenic bacteria respond in zero gravity environments, right? And this is kind of important because as NASA talks about missions to Mars, which would you know, involve long-term space travel, several years being at zero gravity, uh, we don't really fully understand how that might affect the bacteria that live in our bodies. Staph aureus can cause disease, but it also grows asymptomatically on the skin and in the nose of about 30 to 50% of the population. So there's a pretty good chance that at least some astronauts could carry Staph aureus on their body. So it's important to know how that might impact the bacteria. What motivates me? Um, there are so many things, you know. Um, I think a love for the science and for microbiology uh, is, is at the foremost for, for this, but you know, th there's that thirst for knowledge. There's that, you know, that feeling when you discover something new, uh, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a very rewarding feeling. I think that at this point in my career, for me, also one of the, the biggest motivators for me is, is as a mentor and is training, you know, the, the next generation of scientists. Uh, Ohio University has a large undergraduate student population and undergraduates have always been a major component of my lab and um, every semester you know i've had up to six seven even eight undergraduates in the lab at any given time uh, and as somebody who got 
I got my start in research by being an undergraduate researcher in the lab. I know the value of that. Uh, and so I try to give as many opportunities as I can to undergrads. And it, it's fantastic to see them, you know, grow and develop. And as scientists, uh, sometimes they'll publish a paper or get a, you know, an award. Maybe it's a national award. Maybe it's something small, like internal award at the university. But, but to see what that means to a trainee when it's their first ever award or their first ever paper, um, it, it, it's, it's a very rewarding process. And so that, that to me is one of the, the greatest aspects of this job and, you know, makes it easy to come to work every day.